What's up, everybody? This is Emax24101 on YouTube.com with your WWE Raw Rumble pay per view full show, your review, and your results. It happened on January the 24th, 2016, the first pay per view of the year. And yeah, the Road to WrestleMania has started officially. We are 69 days away now. Um, and yeah, let's get started and let's not waste any time. Now you open the you open the show with a great, a fantastic, awesome, phenomenal, crazy, brutal, last man standing match for the Intercontinental Championship. Kevin Owens the challenger versus Dean Ambrose the champion. I mean, these guys went to war. They did not waste any time. You guys, they started to unload on each other. I mean. A great A plus five out of five stars. I gotta stress that right now. A match of the year candidate. I mean, I know we're only a month in, not even a month in yet. But they had thirty minutes, and this was just holy crap. The spots that they did. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know. This was perfect. A great opener, but oh god, holy crap! I mean, ladies and gentlemen. If you, I mean, this was a slugfest. I mean, you seen Kendall six steel chairs. I mean, Owens had the lunatic friends reeling for much of the bout. Ambrose was survived, uh, survived each onslaught. They both went through tables, but Ambrose took the final blow by flipping the number one tender over the top rope and onto two stacked tables. So Ambrose would win to retain the title. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He had a few close calls. I mean, you'd see Owens break the security barricade by hitting Ambrose with a cannonball. Um, Owens lounges in a folding chair as Ambrose struggles to his feet. Ambrose back body drops Owens onto two chairs. Um, oh yeah, Ambrose hit Dirty D's on a, on a, onto a steel chair. Oh, and uh, Owens said to Ambrose, I hate you. After a chair shot. They were in each other's chairs. Um, Owens is a fisherman's buster through a table. I mean, you saw the pop up. I mean, the, the great pace. Uh, they had this match was high high octane. Um, they sold the show. I mean, Owens, even though he lost, looked like an uncontrolled beast while on the attack. It was good for W. It was smart for W to actually make him retain. To be honest with you. Um, once last time we had Atlantis Ace IC Championship reign. So. This prestigious title should be good. Ambrose is a great performer. Kevin Owens, great match. The feud should be over. Who will Ambrose feud with next for the title? What was Kevin Owens going to be doing? I mean, they had a great, unbelievable match. Holy crap. It was war. I mean, 30 minutes to open the show. Great, ladies and gentlemen. This was, I mean, I. Holy crap. It was just great. Enough with that. I gotta get on with this. We had the New Day versus Usos for the Tag Team Championships. Match number two. Um, they've had a long title reign, though. But, uh... Yeah. Basically, what happened is that the New Day's... Um, Biggie basically... Um, scored the deciding pin on one of the Usos, New Day Wednesday, retained the championship. And, yeah. Now, I mean, there's new trombone made by Woods. Um, you know. And, yeah. I mean, Biggie would catch Jay in midair, then hits the big ending. Um, it was just a standard match. I mean, there's not a lot of near falls for, a, I mean, I guess a compelling climax, but, uh, it was a strong match. They don't exactly disappoint their matches, but, um, um, you know, you know, New Day will falsely, um, take out some fresh rivals, and I don't know if they'll never do so, but, um, we've seen it before, it's nothing new, you know, that's the thing, who's gonna be the next challenger for New Day? And what are the Usos going to be doing? I don't know. New Day, you know, I don't know. They should 
keep it, but I don't know when they're going to lose them. Usos, you know, good match, I gotta say, I'd give it a, you know, B. Probably like 4 out of 5 stars, 3.5 maybe. But I would say, you didn't miss anything big if you didn't see this match, but uh, yeah, the first match, you have to see that. If you didn't see it, you gotta watch that full match. They stole the show, like I said, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, wow, I mean, yeah. Then you would have Alberto Del Rio versus Kalisto for the United States Championship in the rubber match. The third match of the rivalry. Hopefully it's ended now. But who came over with the last victory, if that is going to be the case? <sighs> um... So basically, what happened? Kalisto would win. To, and he won the United States Championship for the second time. And, yeah... Give it a 3 out of 5 stars, 3.5, 3 out of 5 stars, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I give the tag team match 4 out of 5 stars, this would be 3.5 out of 5 stars. C+, plus, I mean, Del Rio and Kalisto, still just pretty much played hot potato with the title. Um, there was a few botched moments. It was still a well-worked match. Um, you know... But Kalisto has big potential as U.S. I mean, they're building him up as, like, the next Rey Mysterio. He's got a big push, you know. Sin Cara was injured. They were tag team partners, but he's got a big singles push. Um, Alberto Rio, with him and the League of Nations, I don't know what else going to happen next. I mean, that, that group, or that uh, faction's dumb. I don't even like it. I don't know, but uh, it was a good match. Hopefully the rivalry's ended. Who will Kalisto defend uh, his first feud? Um... It's going to be interesting, I will say that. Another standard match. You didn't miss anything. Still the match of the night is the last standard match between Ambrose and Owens. Um, every title was on the line tonight, so interesting. We are on the road to WrestleMania, 69 days away now. It was a good show, but let's get into it. Now, you just need to develop his character for Kalisto to get over it big time. Um, then he had Charlo versus Becky Lynch for the Divas Championship. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, this was weird. Ric Flair distracting Lynch by um Yeah. Kissing her. Can you believe that? Kissing So Becky Lynch gotta be in her twenties. Ric Flair is in his like late sixties. Yeah. Yeah, um, I usually don't break, I usually, you know, don't say that he's scripted or anything, I usually don't allude to it, but, um, what in the hell, who the hell came up with that idea on the creative team? Becky Lynch, you really wanted to kiss Ric Flair, huh, yeah, maybe when he was probably, I mean, when he's younger, all the, I mean, yeah, he's kissed Ceylon, yeah, but I don't think he was kissing freaking, I don't know, 20 years old when he was 60, I mean. Pretty sure when he was, you know, he had like woman his age, but it was weird. I was kind of sore my, my mouth. I mean, I couldn't even. I, I was disgusted. I mean, fuck, ugh, ugh, ugh. Um, but yeah, um, pretty weird, but yeah. So what would happen is that later on the match, Claire would toss her jacket on Lynch's face, creating traction good enough to get to net his out or win. Um, because Lynch had on the disarmor, make her tap out to come to the champion, but no, it was not to be, because, um, yeah. Charlotte would attack, you know, start stomping on Char uh, Becky after the match. Sasha Banks returned, and she entered the ring. Her man music hit the crowd, loved it, I loved it, I popped, um, around went crazy, but yeah. She kicked Lynch out of the way, teasing her alliance with the champion, but instead attacked Charlotte with the bank statement. But Charlotte did retain the title. Um, yeah, this, um, B minus, I'd just give it four out of five stars. The build, I mean, the promo was good. That's what made the match kind of worthy. Um, 
It's like they're kind of they were kind of building this around Ric Flair more than the actual divas or the women's wrestlers. Um, I mean, Ric Flair kissing Becky Lynch is questionable. Um, still can't believe it. Um, but uh, they could have done better. It was kind of disappointing, but it was still a great match. I was just expecting a little bit more, but um, Bank Center and South Victor is a uh, welcome. Is a good. It's good. Yeah, Bank for Charlotte will be representing the women's division at WrestleMania, and she looked the strongest she has since arriving from NXT. Um, yeah, they're right. I like Sasha a lot, so. So, yeah. Then you have the Royal Rumble match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event, Roman Reigns entered at number one, and yeah. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, um, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. But ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Subscribe to your So he basically Rusev was entry number two. He eliminated him pretty much early. Um, entry number three was none other than the debut of yes, I think you know what's coming. A J. Styles, yes, the phenomenal one. It is. It was him. The crowd, I went crazy. My reaction was, "Holy crap!" Ladies and gentlemen, they squared off. You know, actually, AJ Styles actually had uh, two eliminations. He eliminated Tyler Breeze and Curtis Axel, I believe. But then soon, Chris Jericho, you know, AJ Styles and Reigns all battled. Kane and Ryback entered for their crowding uh, the ring. Titus O'Neil entered. Um, and then what was dumb, the League of Nations pulled out, um, got, pulled out Reigns out of the match and threw him at ringside. The medical officials let Reigns to the back, but the thing is, if you wanted him out and not make him win, why didn't he just have them all come in and throw him out and said, yeah, I know, it's dumb. Not even getting into it. But Ronson made an impact right away. He eliminated Kane, and then he eliminated Big Show. Um, Sami Zayn was in the match, too, um, um, the Wyatt family actually eliminated Sardis, Neville, and others. Brockleser ended, Brockleser ended that run. I mean, he was a one-man wrecking crew. He eliminated Jack Swagger, Eric Rowan, and Luke Harper. Despite being eliminated, Rowan, Harper, and Truman aided Bray Wyatt in beating Don Lesnar. They ganged up on the powerhouse to end his chances at victory. Rage returned. Triple H entered at his number 30. Um, the final four men were uh, Ambrose, Reigns, Triple H, and Sheamus. Uh, Triple H would eliminate Reigns, leaving himself in the lunatic crunch to battle it out. Ambrose fought hard, but eventually fell to the COO. Triple H wins a Rumble and the world title. Great match. I gotta give that an A+. 5 out of 5 stars of the Royal Rumble. Um. And yeah. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to get through all the eliminations, but, um, good Royal Rumble match better than the last few years. Um, I mean, Styles debuting at a number three. Good. Archer's actually slid in the ring. He climbed it as he thought this was a Money in the Bank match. It was funny, but it's not going to last long. Wait, oh, yeah, Kingston landed on Biggie's, uh, shoulders to avoid elimination again. Um, oh yeah, Rusev actually splashed Reigns around the announce table. Zayn was a surprise entry at number 20. The Miz avoided getting in the room by sending out Terry instead of fighting, and why didn't Triple H share an intense face off? A plus. Um, um, you know, you could have said it was predictable, but uh, still good. Um, now Reigns is going to chase the championship leading up to WrestleMania. I think he's going to put Reigns over, and he'll make a great short term champion. It's looking like Wyatt and Lesnar are gonna have a feud because they said that kind of they're kind of setting that up. Um. So 
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what did you guys think of the Royal Rumble? Did you like it? Did you not? What did you think about it? What were your favorite matches, your favorite moments? What was the highlights, the memorable moments, the quotes, anything you want to comment below? That's all you got to do, because I'm giving this an 8 out, of t 8 out of 10 stars for the whole show. Great. I loved it. We're out tonight. It's actually 30 minutes away. I'm going to have this up, uh, obviously, very soon. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like this video, share this video, leave a comment, tell me what you thought about it. Um, just let me know, and, um, you know, if you like this video, hope you enjoyed it, if you like it, if you want more, just subscribe, and that's all you gotta do for more WWE reviews and news, all WWE content on the channel, later everyone, peace out.